CBS Mornings. I'm Gail King. Coming up in this hour, did you know that commercials for products need to be based in fact, but political ads do not? We'll look at why that is and if anything can be done about it. I'm Tony DeCopel. Actor Simu Liu went from a job as an accountant to a Marvel movie superstar. He talks to our Nancy Chan about a complicated childhood and how the desire to escape led to where he is now. I'm Nate Burleson. Actress and comedian Gina Yashere from Bob Hart's Abishola will share a powerful essay on the meaning of LGBTQ pride. I love that show. But first, here's today's eye-opener at 8. The death toll rises from a devastating earthquake in Afghanistan. Many people were inside, asleep, and vulnerable when buildings collapsed. He waited for a key that was never needed. The head of public safety in Texas says the Uvalde massacre could have ended sooner if not for the inaction of the school district's police chief. These kids didn't choose to be in the line of fire. That's in your job description. The Senate appears to make progress on gun reform, including more expansive background checks. I want to make sure we actually do something useful, something that is capable of becoming a law. Bill Cosby is found liable for sexually assaulting a teenager at the Playboy Mansion nearly 50 years ago. There's a lot of us still left out here in pain every day. And a ball game between the Angels and Royals was in full swing when cameras captured this heartwarming moment in the stands. So this is why baseball is the greatest sport in the game. Melendez throws it to this fan, so pumped. But he's like, you know what? No, I got to give the baseball to a kid. But then later in the game, the kid's dad's going to come up with the baseball. He's like, here you go. Now you got your ball back. Look at that smile. Both of them. Tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Her. See the girl next to the guy? She's like, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so emotional at this I don't game. know what their and relationship goes, is. And she goes, I like him a lot. <laughs> yeah, because you can tell he's a nice guy. Well played. Yeah. Well played. Yeah. Well played. Yeah. All right, we're going to begin this hour with something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Now, political advertising. You may have seen the new online ad from Missouri U.S. Senate candidate Eric Greitens. Take a look. It shows the former GOP governor holding a gun and supposedly hunting moderates in his own party, calling them rhinos, that would mean uh, Republicans in name only. Facebook has banned the ad and Twitter flagged it for abusive behavior. But guess what? If his campaign was to buy commercial advertising slots on local TV, an industry expert tells us that CBS news stations would have to air it. And that is for sure true when it comes to lies. Several candidates in other states have already used TV ads to repeat false claims of fraud in the 2020 election. And now you might think that broadcast stations like this one could reject such outright lies. But in fact, we have no choice but to air them no matter how blatant or misleading. Be advised. The liberal pro-Biden, pro-China Wall Street insider. Every election year, it seems like politicians hit us with a one-two combination.